today's battle is between the ringneck. Oh my God, the ringneck pheasant and the rhinoceros. Let's get into it. The ringneck pheasant can be up to two to three feet long. Yeah, that's it. Well, no, no, actually, they can be up to one to three feet long and go up to two to three pounds. They live in North America as well. Rhinoceros, on the other hand, lives around Europe and North America. They can be up to around what? Two, they can be up to two to three feet long with a two and a half wingspan. Two, two and a half long wingspan, and yeah, they can weigh up to around like around like I say like four, four to five. No, like t- twelve pounds on average or something, and then they weigh like twenty, 20 pounds in, on max. Okay, let's compare their weapons. And both animals live in North America. Okay, let's fight. Let's compare their weapons. Yes, then, okay, beak versus t- teeth. The beak uh, and teeth of the rhinoceros are a lot more effective than that of the pheasant because it's needle like teeth that can cut through pretty much any fish. And plus, like, you know. Come on, it's like a freaking fish. It's it's teeth, you know. They're gonna be a lot, a little bit more effective than that, the the pheasant. But anyways, um, so yeah, edge goes to the rhinoceros. Talons versus talons. The talons of the pheasant are a little bit more effective since they're more used to like t- combat. Rhinoceros, on the other hand, uses them to either catch small fish or to just to land. So yeah, pheasant gets the advantage. X Packers. Pheasants can fly pretty fast and high. And they can run and they can camouflage pretty well. Ramphorinkas on the other hand can fly long distances and yeah, pretty much it. X Packers goes to the pheasant. And yes, we use them down the maximum size. Oh yeah. Pheasants have a wingspan to them like three and a half feet, so yeah. Okay, now main stats. Speed goes to the ringneck pheasant by a slight margin. Strength, tied, brains, tied, attack, rhinoceros, and defense. Ringneck pheasant. Ringneck pheasant. Okay, let's go. The ringneck pheasant is just soaring through the forest, you know. He's trying to find a little perch so he can rest. Then he crashes into a rhinoceros. <laughs> <clears throat> Both birds fall down to the ground. The rhinoceros gets on his hind legs and roars at, and screeches at the rhinoceros. No, at the pheasant. The bird, the bird squawks back and gets into a battle position. Both birds clash each other like two angry roosters. But the ringneck pheasant quickly gets the upper hand and slashes up, slashes and pecks the heck out of the rhinoceros. Rhinoceros pecks the pheasant in the face and then bites his head. The the ringneck pheasant can't do anything about it, so he just bites the tongue of the rhinoceros. Rhinoceros is just like he can't close his mouth, and then the and the ringneck pheasant just lets go of the rhinoceros' tongue. It's a dirty fight, you know. The um, the ringneck pheasant tries to claw out the eyes of the rhinoceros, but this is successful. The ring. Re- the rhinoceros bites the neck of the pheasant and is actually successful. P- tries to pin him down with his the claws on his wings and tries to rip it. The, 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 the pheasant can't do anything and is just pretty much doomed. And then a few day, and then a few minute, few more minutes of struggling and the pheasant is dead and lifeless. The rhinoceros has won and he roars and, vic- and he screeches in victory before bringing his new meal with him. But that's not without some struggles, though. The winner is the Rhinoceros. So verdict: I think the Rhinoceros wins around like seventy-five percent of the time because of its better weaponry. I'm mean, sure that, and the pheasant might have some more experience, like combat experience, because of its large talons 
in the place it lived in. But the Ramparine kiss just has teeth. And teeth are a, little, are a lot more effective than that the beak. But sometimes it's the other way around. But who do you th- but I do think that the Feathering could win sometimes. But who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.